Uganda. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm excited. I don't know for a lot of things. The whole program in general. I'm excited not to spend quite as much money as I did in London. That'll be nice. Sounds great. Um, we're talking about our feelings about Uganda. Oh, well, I'm really excited. I'm hoping that it'll cost less. No, I couldn't tell you how the house burned down. So I'm very excited about coming home. Last night while we were running around. It's amazing studying in Africa. I'm excited for the warm weather. I also want to some wildlife. Welcome to Antenna, ladies and gentlemen. Please remain seated until the... <clears throat> this is Irene, and I'm reporting on the weather in Amsterdam. It was about 50 degrees when we landed. Uh, then when we got to Entebbe, it was about probably 70. It's been about that temperature since. It's the beginning of the rainy season, so about two weeks ago it started. It's been very sunny since, although it's rained a few times, but generally speaking, the weather's just been gorgeous, uh, as you can see. This weather report has been brought to you by Northwestern University at Makere in Kampala. Hi, I'm Case. I'm Joy. This is our first grocery store. Uh, and we're at a gas station and we're buying our food. What did you get, Joy? Um, I got a fruit juice medley and a, some sort of Indian snack food and some salt and vinegar chips. Cool. And I'm good to go. I got some milk for my cereal. I brought cereal from the States. In Kampala, there are a wide variety of food options, ranging from Western supermarkets with set prices and a variety of goods to uh, other many local street vendors that sell food at cheap and negotiable prices. There are also a number of typically Ugandan restaurants with foods such as matoke, cassava, yam, and various fish and chicken dishes. When they are Here's our Rolex. You want to see them making it? Rolex is a popular street vendor food that consists of what we know as an omelet mixed with spices and peppers and it's delicious and very, very cheap. <laughs> this is very different than Sheridan Road. All these people walking around. It's very intimidating. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. stretches about four square miles. that we have toured around in. first safari in Uganda and it was gorgeous we took a boat ride of the Nile River and we saw lots of wildlife <laughs> We got to see things like elephants. Do you know that they flap their ears to cool down? Oh, 
We also got to go on a drive, a game drive, and we saw things like giraffes and warthogs. Oh, and there was monkeys all over the place. And there's a bunch of baboons. We're really entertained by that. And I saw one with a little baby. It was so cute. So that was the, our safari, and it was great, and for our first week in Uganda.